Ladies and gents and the rest, today we're going to be looking at uh, scenarios and Ono, all the talents, and see how they work and what to take, right? Uh, before we start, uh, don't forget that every single talent in this game is video demonstrated. You can take a look at it in the, on the, in the playlist in the description below. Let's go! Talent number one, Force of Nature. Summon a tree and when a rooted enemy dies. Alright, scenarios is right here. And I want you to look at this murloc on the left side, near the summoning stone. So, let's play it. We're going to root th that murloc, and it will turn into tree and two. So, when Scenarius is on the field, everything that is rooted and dies, turns into tree and It doesn't need to be Scenarius's aura only. The only requirement is Scenarius must be on the field. If Scenarius is not on the field, roots are not gonna give you trends, okay? Talent number two, Wild Growth. On deploy, root all enemies for five seconds. Alright, here is what it looks like. We drop scenarios, boom, everything on the map is going to be rooted for five seconds. This is, this is a great talent to stop somebody from taking a gold chest, if you need a second, you know. So it works globally on the whole map. One more time. Drop scenarios, everything is rooted. By the way, this root lasts five seconds, but it depends on the level difference between scenarios and the one who is rooted. For every level difference, we get for every level we have 0 0.5 second difference, right? Plus minus. Talent number three, revitalize. Allies entering tranquility trigger an additional heal pulse. Now I want you to take a look at the scenarios. We're going to bring a um, few units into Tranquility Zone, and I want you to trigger pulses on scenarios. how many times it's going to trigger. We're going to bring five skeletons first. Watch. So we got five skeletons. Look at scenarios. One, two, three. So I only, th I only see a three. Three pulses, even though we had five skeletons. Now let's do the same thing with chickens. Look at scenarios. Look at them. Chickens are coming. One, two, three. Again, I only see three. All right. One more time with chickens. Drop chickens. One, two, three. If maybe I'm blind, but if you guys see more than three pulses every time, let me know. Because I don't, which makes me think that this thing has three, this has a cap of three. And I think it has some kind of inner cooldown after which you can bring allies inside of tranquility again and trigger this three pulses again. Right? Because I can't believe that it's only three pulses. Per, per scenarios, right? There must be some kind of a cooldown or something. Like I said, three three pulses is what I saw. It's what I noticed. If you notice more, let me know. But I think this talent is just garbage. Now, what do we take? That's the most important question, right? I'm going to give you my logic. Um, you don't have to follow that. I showed you the talents. That's the most important thing. So, I say, obviously, the best two talents is Force of the Nature and wild, wild Growth. However, Wild Growth, in my opinion, is not really that useful in PvE. But it's, really, it's very useful in PvP. And Force of Nature, the one that summons Treants, is really good in, in PvP and in PvP. So I would say Force of Nature will go will be number one, Wild Growth will be number two, and Revitalize, which is just complete garbage from what I saw, is number three. Onu, talent number one from the trees. Minis deployed within safe arbor, which is from Onu, uh, by Onu, deal double damage on their first attack. On the left side, there is no double damage. On the right side, there is double damage. Boom. In other words, if, when you deploy Gargoyle from Onu, Gargoyle kills the tower in three hits on the right side, and it takes four hits to kill the tower on the left side. That's pretty much the idea of this talent. Ah, and it doesn't work with sappers. Don't ask me why. 
So sappers uh, are discriminated all the time. Talent number two, Petrify. Petrify on death, keeping safe arbor active for eight seconds. Here is how this works. When your Onu dies, you can summon things from where Onu died for eight more seconds. And now I'm going to summon one more Onu. But um, in, in other words, especially if you play co-op, you can just keep moving towards the boss. And when one Onu dies, you summon the second Onu by the other player <laughs> from the same from this location. And you keep moving, right? So, uh, or you can just summon uh, other things, obviously. Next talent is Barskin. Minis deployed within safe arbor gain armor for 8 seconds. That's exactly what it says. We deploy grunts, they are armored for 8 seconds. Griffon is armored, which means they're gonna take them 50% uh, less physical damage for 8 seconds. Now, what do we take? Mm, again, this is only my logic. I would go from the trees as number one. Because, you know, double damage, sometimes this bonus can be combined with the first strike modifier, which is going to make you hit for 4x damage, right? So it's really good. And uh, in some cases, it's going to be like an S tier talent, but overall, it's very useful. So from the trees is number one. Petrify is number two, like I said, because it gives you some... It, it, it allows you to try some other new strategies, you know? And Barskin is kind of like what? It's it's like the worst out of three, right? Because armored for eight seconds, unless we find some OP combo, which I can't think of right now, uh, this talent is going to be the most useless out of these three, right? So from the trees, number one, Petrify, number two, Barskin, number three. And that is all. I don't have any talents on uh, like for the scenario units yet. Once I do, I will make the same video about those units. That's all.